again. Oops, and my camera is going jiggly jiggly. Um, so today I have added some silicone to the Arteza um, pouring acrylic colors, and I haven't done anything else to it. Um, I tried them the other day, and the consistency, the viscosity is um, perfect. So I just put them in a little cup and added a couple drops of silicone. Now, if I like it, I mean, you could just add the silicone to the bottle and shake it up, but um, I like having the option, since I didn't use the entire bottle, of being able to use it again with no silicone. Um, otherwise, if you like silicone in all of your pores, um, you could just put a couple drops, maybe three or four drops, in each thing and give it a good shake. Shake, shake, shake. All right. Okay, so I'm going to do a, one of the open cup, I don't know, what are they called? Um, it'll come to me. Somebody will remind me in the comments. Um, pour. So I'm going to put some black, actually, I think, instead of white down. And this came with two blacks. My daughter was looking at it and she said, she said, um, how did she put that? She said they, uh, they thought like an artist because it came with four whites and two blacks. And she was very, she was very pleased about that. Um, her, her medium of choice is, um, alcohol ink markers, but, um, she, I guess she appreciated all the white and the options for possible skin tones that were included, even though I don't, uh, paint people, but that was her thought <laughs> that somebody was thinking about the artists. <laughs> Okay, so I'm opening this black here. Okay, so I'm just going to pour this on the canvas. Spread around. Okay, so I'm going to put this down right in the middle. I'm going to start out with some black. Yellow. And all I did was add two drops of silicone. Did I mention how much? Two drops of silicone per color. That's all I did to this paint. Just lift this a little bit. Really got a good suction on there. <laughs> may need to be a bit thinner for this technique. So do it just a little bit of yellow. There it's going. sort of flow out there. There we go. There we go. Spread it out a little bit. Yeah, we're getting some pretty pretty cells there. That's pretty cool. That dark blue is looking really cool. Okay, I'm going to lift it now. Torch real quick. See what comes up, but it's it's got some beautiful cells already. Oh yeah. Let's go this way. It's pretty. I love the way that yellow is coming through under that blue. Isn't that neat. Let's go this way. It's like glowing, really pretty. Let's go back this way.
I think I want to go all the way down. Let's do, actually I'm going to go this way a little bit. I want to stretch this out right there. It got kind of narrowed, but oh my gosh, it's really pretty. I love that yellow under that blue. The cells aren't getting super wonky. There's a couple of them, but I like how they look, so I'm not going to worry about it. All right, I don't know how well you can see this. I'll do some close-ups here in a minute, but I love the way this little edge, you can see it. It's almost like fractals, and this is just like it, like an x-ray or something. I'm just going to try and fray this edge out a little bit. This is a really super bristly brush. Um, not a smooth brush. And I just want to kind of fray that edge so it's not so harsh. There it is in that black there. There we go. I'm just pulling some of that color into the black. That's really cool. But I really, that's my favorite spot right there. I'll do some close ups. Um, Spray this one a little bit too. Just makes it a little less of a harsh edge. Incorporates it into the background a little bit. I want to leave some of that straight because it's really neat. Okay, I think um, that that is it. These are really cool. Let's do some close ups. All right, so before I did close-ups, I went ahead and touched up the corner stairs so they're all covered um, with white. And you can see how that poured over. Love the edges. There's those cells that went a little bit wonky, but I kind of like the way they went wonky. Um, sometimes they just look weird, but those look kind of neat. And those are the edges. I love the way the yellow looks like it's like glowing from underneath that blue. Then over here, I wanted to show you, this is my favorite bit. Right here it looks so organic almost like a black sandy beach from really really far away you can see the waves crashing on shore kind of neat and the pink did that really neat veining around the cells there which is kind of cool whoops what in the world happened sorry about that guys I don't know I pushed a button on my phone to try and get it to uh, focus and it did something weird <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't weird. Somebody who knows how to use their camera um, would know exactly what it was. But anyway, let me know what you think. Um, if there was a time you would have stopped, I always like that. Um, leave the timestamp in the comments. That's always fun to see where other people would have said, hey, I liked it best right there. You shouldn't have kept going. And in the meantime, guys, happy pouring. We will see you next time.